I love wrenching on my car. It just so happens that all the deeply necessary projects I've had in front of me are now behind me and I've got nothing to do. And that's where it starts getting dangerous because now I start fixing things that didn't need fixing in the first place. It can only get worse from here on out. When I got the car, it didn't have an ignition lock, but just a switch instead. Now that obviously couldn't remain that way, so I bought the cheapest lock I could find online and installed that. It worked plenty fine, but it looked ugly, and so I had my peepers out for an original style ignition lock. This type of lock has a trick up its sleeve. You can unlock it, and then you can pull the key off with the engine running. You can drive wherever you want, and when you want to shut off the engine, you just press the lock in and the engine dies. Eventually I found a lock, bought it from the seller who told me it was working fine, installed it without checking, and also painted the recesses in the instrument panel black because it just looks a lot nicer. Then the next day, I wanted to get off to work, turned the key, and this happened. On. Now there I was scratching my head. I had an appointment, my mother had taken her car out, so my only way of getting there was the Model A. Switching back to the old ignition lock would have taken way too long, and hot wiring the Model A would have been impossible because Ford proudly stated that their armored cable would have been impervious to any attempts at doing so. So I tried it anyways. The armored ignition cable may impede any attempts at cutting that cable. However, it doesn't stop you from simply laying a second wire along the path of the first. So that's exactly what I did. I hot wired the coil right to the distributor and um, off I was after about 15 minutes, including the thought process. Yes! Geil, Alter! Oh mein Gott, ich liebe es! That's how you short circuit a Ford Model A. Thanks for watching. Bye bye! Oh, and the reason for all the trouble? It was just a broken wire at the distributor contact point. I've since resoldered that wire and we're back on track.